Okay, in this video we're going to solve uh, a, a coffee problem, a problem about coffee, using linear systems. Okay, and the problem that we have says, at Joe's Java Joint, you can get two cappuccinos and a latte for six seventy-five, or you can get two lattes and a cappuccino for six dollars. The questions are, how much is a latte and how much is a cappuccino? Okay, so when we're solving problems like these, um, really th what we have to do is we have to turn this, uh, this paragraph into some math. And so we have to translate from English to math. Okay, uh, so step one of that is to figure out what are our unknowns. Well, how much is a latte? I'd say one unknown is going to be L, the price of a latte. Another unknown, C, the price of a cappuccino. Um, you can use X and Y if you want to. I just kind of prefer using letters that tell me what they are. Okay, so now that we have L and C, we need to come up with a couple of equations. And uh, let's see, it says you can get two cappuccinos and a latte for six seventy-five. That means the price of two cappuccinos plus the price of a latte is six seventy-five. Well the price of two cappuccinos is just going to be two times the price of one cappuccino. So that tells me two C plus the price of a latte plus L equals six. 75. How much is a latte? Oh, I'm sorry, the next one says uh, you can get two lattes and a cappuccino for six dollars. Okay, so that means 2L plus C equals six. Okay, now we have two strategies that we frequently use to solve these problems, to solve linear systems problems. One is substitution, one is elimination. Um, really, either one would work pretty well here. Uh, we could take, for example, the top equation, subtract 2c from either side, and get L equals 6.75 from uh, 675 minus 2c, thereby solving the equation for L. And then we would take what L equals and replace L with what it equals in the in the next equation. That's a perfectly valid way of doing this. Um, but we can also use elimination, and I think this time we're going to use elimination. Not necessarily because it's better, it's just kind of the mood I'm in right now. So, uh, and, and also when I see all my unknowns on one side, the equal sign lined up, the constants lined up, it makes me think elimination. But there's one important thing we have to do before we start doing elimination, and that is, got to get our L's lined up and our C's lined up. So let me rewrite this top line here but I'm going to change the order of my terms. I'm going to write L plus 2C equals 675. Okay, so now I have my L's lined up, my C's lined up, my equal signs lined up, and my constants lined up. Okay, good. Uh, now what do we do? Now we need to multiply one of our equations by a constant so that when we add up the equations, uh, one of our unknowns will uh, will go away, which is why we call it elimination. And I'm going to opt to multiply this equation here by negative 2. Why am I doing that? Because this way I'm going to have 2L minus 2L, and so I'll end up with one equation with only one unknown. And that sounds good to me. So let me multiply this through, and remember when you're multiplying, in negative 2L minus 4c, I multiply this term times the negative 2 as well, and I multiply this by negative 2. Anything you do to the left side of the equation, you must do to the right side of the equation. That is the fundamental rule of algebra. Okay, so now what do we have? We have this equation here and this equation here that we're going to combine. So 2l minus 2l gets me 0. C minus 4C gets me negative 3C. And 6 minus 13, uh, 1350 gets me negative 750. And all of a sudden this has gotten real simple. C equals negative 750 
over negative 3, and that's just 250. Could it be? Well, let's see. Um, now we've got to find out what L is. Uh, let's go from our top equation. 2 times C, 2 times 250, plus L equals uh, 675. And so, uh, let's see, that means 5 plus L is 675, which means L has got to be 175. So what I'm finding is that a latte costs $1.75 and a cappuccino costs $2.50. Let's see if that could possibly be true. Uh, now I just used the top line to solve for, uh, for L, so let me use the next equation and see if uh, I can replace L with 1.75 and C with 250 and see if it works. 2 times L, that would be 2 times 175, that's going to be 350. $3.50 plus $2.50. Sure enough, it equals 6. That means my answers work. And we are done. A cappuccino costs $2.50 and a latte costs $1.75.